What's up, YouTube family? Um, it's hot as hell outside, y'all. And yes, my hair is fucked up and in a bun because I'm about to get my hair braided today. So yeah, uh, you know, y'all go ahead and laugh it up. But um, anyway. Hmm. <sighs> well, y'all know how much I love water. Um, the 80-20 ratio. What is it and why is it? Um <laughs> Well, you know, there's there's so many different variations or different different aspects of the 80-20 ratio. You got the 80-20 dating rule is what most people call it, or just simply the 80-20 rule. Then you got the 80-20 relationship. Um, it's basically all really the same concept. That's why me, um, I just refer to it as the 80-20 ratio altogether, just to generalize it all. Um, I mean, it's pretty much self-explanatory, like how you got a 50-50 relationship, you know, where like a man does have the other woman, you know what I mean? Like they both work and they both split the bills. No, y'all, that's not, that's not going to work. And honestly, like as a man, that should not be acceptable. Like I said, y'all, we know how these women are. We know how hypergamous they are, which we'll talk about hypergamy on a video. Y'all best believe that. Um... And, you know, for real, y'all, like, if you don't know what some of these words are, what I'm saying, it's just good to look them up, man. You know, like, just educate yourself a little bit. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't born to know all this shit either. I learned and I studied and I, I focused my mind on things that were important. That's why I'm able, I'm only teaching you things that I've learned from others or things that I've studied from myself. Encyclopedias, things like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, Fact-checked articles, things like that. And just life experience. You know, a lot of these things, when it comes to women, y'all. Um, the manosphere was really bought just through experience from men getting played by women to men getting cheated on by women all the way to men playing women, men being the guy that the girl goes to cheat on, you know, the guy, I mean, the guy that she cheats with, you know what I'm saying? There's the guy that's getting cheated on and there's the guy that's fucking somebody's wife. You know what I'm saying? Um, it takes years of experience and sometimes you have to be on both sides of that fence in order to really be able to teach men what's what. Uh, um, what these women are like and what they're capable of and how it is. But the 80-20 ratio is is pretty much, y'all, pretty much 80% of women are only attracted to 20% of men. This is a harsh reality that most men do not want to accept. They think it's 50-50. Everybody believe, like, people believe in soulmates. and a, It's a bunch of bullshit. Like, everybody, you know, there's somebody for everybody. Not really, y'all. There's a lot of men out there who just, you know, are, are just always going to be the bottom pick. And, you know, you got women who are also, too, on the bottom, you know, I mean, like of the social dating status. You know, maybe they don't look as good. They their personality's awkward. You know, they have an ugly face. It's just it's always something, you know, what I mean, it just, there's there's always going to be something that that some people are going to find undesirable in other people versus somebody else. But the reality is, y'all, like even uh, like I said, like an average looking chick that works at Walmart or that works at McDonald's, she wants a guy that's a doctor or a fucking pilot, or a motherfucking U.S. Marine, or or just a straight um, basketball player, or or football player, or rap stars, something. Like, women who make uh, very little income, they want a guy who's who's rich. I mean, you don't have to be rich, but they want a guy that's, that has enough money. Um, And I'm telling y'all, man, there's, there's, uh, it's not, it's, it's, it's not a bad thing. Like I say, y'all double standards are really important, you know, and they are necessary in, in society. Women are very hypergamous. Every woman wants the alpha male. They don't want the bum guy that's living with his mama. They don't want the guy that sits around and plays video games all day and eats junk food and orders pizza and, and spends all his paychecks on weed and shit. That's if he even has a fucking job. Shit like that. No, that no. Women don't want that. The sad reality is, y'all, really only 20% of men are actually on their shit. So we blame women for having all these high standards, but the truth is a lot of you men are just not, y'all not living up to full expectations, man. Y'all are not living up to your full potential. I should say that, nah. Not, not expectations. Don't live to another person's expectations. Live to your full potential. A lot of, and a lot of men aren't doing that. Only 20% of men are doing that. Now, you got some guys that, like, win the lottery 
and shit. They they never did shit productive in their life. They went to the casino one time. They won a hundred million dollars. Of course, he's getting women. You know what I'm saying? Then you guys, you got guys who are who are just genetically blessed. They're just tall, handsome. They got a chiseled face. They got a real deep voice, and they, you know what I'm saying? They just got that sexual chemistry that women like. You know that guy. He can live in his mama's basement. So, you know what I mean? But either way, all these guys are all part of that 20%. Whether you're genetically blessed, you're just tall and handsome, whatever, or whether you're just just super rich like Donald Trump or something, or, you know, you, uh, you're a fucking rap star or something like that, you know, or you're like an NBA player. You know what I'm saying? You can be a rapper like Future or Russell Wilson. Now, even though we talk, look at Future and Russell Wilson, two different guys. Two different personalities. We make fun of everybody, y'all. We call, we look at most men in the manosphere. We look at future like, you know, he's just, he's a straight player. He's got, he's the Mac daddy, got all the bitches. You know what I mean? Knocking up bitches like, uh, like Sierra, nothing in bitches. And then, you know what I mean? Not giving a fuck. And then we look at niggas like Russell Wilson, you know, like, oh, you know, he's a simp. You know, he's taking care of another man's baggage. Uh, he's, t- he, he done wifed up another man's leftover. Doesn't matter. Now, see, Sierra's smart because she, she still got a man in the 20%. Russell Wilson and Future are still a part of that top 20%. So here's the thing, y'all. In the manosphere, the whole real point of the manosphere is to change that ratio. We're not trying to change, we're trying to make women lower their standards. We're trying to hire our position. It should is it that 80-20 ratio, we can turn that 20% into a bigger number. When more men step up and become that 20%, then that will be that's that's when shit. Um, starts to get real. You know what I'm saying? So that, you know, it can, it can be a 50, 50, uh, you know, it can be like 50% of women are, are, you know, um, connecting with the other 50% of men, you know what I mean? It's, but it's, it's y'all really like, it's really up to men to really, um, move up and to be, become that top 20%. It takes discipline, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, sometimes it's luck. Yeah. Like I said, you know, you got some people who are just rich, you know, like they, they won the lottery without even trying. And you got some people who hustled and worked their way to the top. Most successful people work hard and work their way to the fucking top. That's just a fact. And only a very small percentage of only a very small percentage of them have just really just, just lucked up and became wealthy. Most of those people don't know how to maintain that money either. People that win the lottery and shit, they also lose that money because they don't know the value of, you know, saving and stuff like that. But yeah, y'all, I mean, you know, double standards are real, man. Um, honestly, like,